So about a week earlier, we yeah. were at lunch with uh, John, and a couple, John and Michael. We had um, uh, lunch with them. Yeah. Uh, breakfast, actually, I think it was. Yeah. And they were taught, they were brought up the kids thing. They yep. were like, and this was before, so this is before you were sort of, I guess, known, oh, I've seen your list, blah, blah, blah. So they had no idea, no context, whatever. Yeah. So they just like sincerely asked, like, do, do you guys want to have kids? Like, no. <laughs> We and don't. I was like, do you want to see my list of reasons why I don't want to And then children? John's face is like, what? Please show me. <laughs> so Ellie gets out her little, like her novel. It's in notes. And, and then starts- he was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Can you send this to me? Yeah. Can you airdrop it to me? So I airdropped him the notes. And um, a week later, I get this text message from him. And he was like, I saw a really cute, really cute kid. It felt super clocky reverted to the list and now I don't want kids again. Ha 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 ha. And I was like, this is really funny. So I screenshot that. And I posted it to my stories. And then I just had all these hundreds of DMs from people being like, I want to see the list. Show me the list. So, so I, I like, saw all this and I'm like, yeah, surely, yeah, she's, you not, saw this surely she's not going to share this list because the list has some pretty, pretty interesting, what would you call them? Pretty interesting takes on yeah. being child free. Well, I mean, like so many of them are very satirical. It's, yeah. it's funny. It's light. It's, it but was really, it was factual. genuinely created because yeah. o- over the years, you and I, We've been together almost 16 years. So the biggest question that we're ever asked from people was um, when are you ha- getting married and when are you starting a family? When do you want, how many kids do you want? Yeah. And I've had that question since I was 13 years old um, without even having a significant other. So um, that list was more of a r- response to people who would corner us at Barbie how many times that we were at a party or- so it was almost like a it was almost like a, a deflect right it was, it was like yeah. I don't want I, I generally don't want to answer your question honestly because, was, because this isn't the setting for it it definitely you, wasn't because so the reason here's why my, I'm here's so my, serious yeah so it was like light in the mood yeah light in the mood like, it's not heavy like this yeah. is funny and it just yeah. gets people off my back because yeah. they're like oh shit because like, generally the response is, is so when are you going to have kids yeah. and if you say well we're probably not going to have kids then it dives deep into like conversion therapy and yep. like people questioning are you a real human being like yeah you're so selfish like you just you, get all of like, the, uh, you get all the criticism you get all the conversion therapy but anyway so you posted this so i'm sitting on the couch yeah. you're in the kitchen cooking some eggs or something and, I'm like, blah, 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 and then blah. all of a sudden i hear <laughs> runny call and you have it on speaker because you're yeah. doing some stuff and then she's just like hey um so i saw what you just posted do you really mm. want to have that publicly shared and, and I was then like, straight yeah, away, I was like, I'm like, not? I'm like chilling on the couch, and I look over, and I'm like, "What the fuck have you just done?" And then I get I on. I saw his face, and I was like, "And then I get on, and then I see your story, and it's like three stories of like reason one to forty five, reason forty six to seventy five, and my heart sunk straight away. Yeah. Like straight away, yeah. I thought this is totally going to get taken out of context." Which I didn't think. I was like, this is just funny. Like it's – but it really pushed people's buttons. Straight away. Yeah, I, I knew that it would push people's buttons. I really didn't think it would. I feel <laughs> – I don't think you thought. I don't know. I feel like the – I don't think it was – To me, it was the one internet of those doesn't moments. feel real. But the, I did go very rogue on this and I would have probably shared it with you if it was about anything else. Mm. Um, I think – did you reckon you did not share it with me because you probably thought you knew what my no. response would have been? No. I, re- I, I really like, didn't. Don't post that. Do no, not post I, that. I really didn't because I didn't think it was going to be a big deal. It ended up being the most viral moment of probably my entire career. I've done a Super Bowl commercial. No, Super Bowl, but I I've worked- it was a bit bigger. You reckon? Yeah, that was like 120 million people in that instant. But at I one think time. the response, like the maybe internet viral, and internet was- viral, yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely yeah. was definitely like up there, yeah. and the publicity that came with it was yeah. unprecedented. Like it, it was wild. Um, but I wasn't expecting any of that. I thought people would just be like, yeah, that's kind of ridiculous, but whatever. But it really did upset a lot of people. Yeah. But it also made so many people who are in the same position feel very, very seen and heard by it. So, um, I mean, that's really <laughs> the day that I posted it. And then within 24 hours, everything just blew up to be something like a lot of it was taken out of context. Definitely. It was. Um, well, I think it's general it media. It was all that general, clickbait. General media these days. I mean, yeah, yeah. shout out to general media. You do an yeah. awesome job. And look, I don't hate kids. You don't hate kids. No. We love kids. We have a niece and a nephew who are so adorable. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we also love to be able to have our own space and our own time and time for us. So um, 
yeah, we I like. It's not about a dislike of children. It's about it's not it, like accepting or understanding the responsibility that comes with parenthood. Exactly. And I guess you you don't know that until you know a child actually enters your life. Yeah. Um, but I think you know for us, well, for me, I can make an educated decision or an educated guess that it's just not something for me. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's something that we discussed and we'd spoken about long before you posted this. Thanks for tuning in to In Real Life. If you enjoyed this episode, we'd love for you to subscribe on Spotify and connect with us on Instagram at IRL with us. And remember, life isn't about meeting other people's expectations. It's about living it on your terms and meeting your own expectations. So go out there and live in real life. We'll see you next time.